Papi Kojo was invited to the studios of UTV, United Show Biz. When Papi went, he raised an issue, which to me, I think it's not necessary. Why are you calling them to come and apologize or else you will stand up and go? If it's Mr. Logic you were talking about, then you should have gone directly. Talk to Mr. Logic. I want you to apologize. Mr. Logic, what you are saying isn't logical. How can you disrespect fellow Nuna and respect Yvonne Nelson? Are they both not women? If you are respecting Yvonne Nelson, then you must respect fellow Luna too. What is disrespectful about the challenge Papi Kojo did? What did he say wrong in the challenge? What did he do wrong in the challenge? When every music is released, people find dancers and people on TikTok to do a challenge for it just to promote the song. I know your name is logical, but sometimes you are not logical at all. Sin chow, sin chow, your boy Melo Day. Welcome back to another episode of Crooked Truths. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing so you become part of this tribe family. And if you're already a subscriber, I salute you. I salute you as usual. So guys, there is another news over here. And this is about Papi Kojo, Mr. Logic, Fela Luna, and Yvonne Nelson and Sa Kodier's issue and those kind of things. Now, Papi Kojo is a musician in Ghana. He's a rapper. Sa Kodier is a rapper. Fela Luna is Afropop musician. Yvonne Nelson is an actor and a producer. And Mr. Logic is also in the music industry and a kind of critic. So Papi Kojo was invited to the studios of UTV, United Show Biz Show, which is hosted by Miss G and her panelists, which is Mr. Logic and the rest of the people. So when Papi went and it was the time for him to be interviewed or to be asked questions, he raised an issue. And this issue brought a whole lot of talks. And Papi even stood up and walked out of the studios. But before that issue came, he was requesting something from Miss G, which to me, I think it's not necessary. Let's watch this. Come along with you and I. Okay, so thank you. Um, second of all, um, um, I wasn't really happy with um, UTV. I know you're really aware of that. Because of last time, how Felonina was treated here. So um, I don't know who owns UTV or who works at, not from you, but anyone who works at UTV. I'd like to see that person, like apol apologize to Felonina on TV live. Or I'll stand up and go. Because you, you, can't, you, you don't set those examples on TV. Unfortunately, I was not the one. Secondly, the one who owns UTV is not in this uh, conversation. I don't think he was there during the conversation with Felinuna. So you can't drag him yeah, but into the that, conversation. That, that thing can and be done on TV live. What that conversations thing can be... have gone on after that, you and I do not know. So let's leave our conversation to what you and I know today. Because I cannot speak for a situation I know nothing about. Yeah, but it's, it's not a good example. And see, would I... It's, uh, not a good, it's not a good example. It's, it's not a good example too. Like, like they already said, Ghana Yedin. Mm. So for a young girl like herself trying to make it and all of that, and then she comes on TV trying to make it, and then they are bashing her, making fun of her and all of that, I think it's really disrespectful. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I can't come here and sit and act like everything is okay. Yo, yeah. Yeah. But Mr. Logic was here. Uh, so you have to apologize uh, to, to Felunina on TV now. Let's deal with it now. Next time, another time wrong. Says some group of people no bar. Oba now we catch up. Say I'm a fan of Felunina. No problem. What can we say? But me see sa environment and anko fono mo ana nyom no mo ai ne ti ye nto ye komo na ye bo so e bi another time mo nyina betna sia na we ti mi aka chio mo yo pese o ka chio mo nti mpa chio me ti okay so mpa chio na we see there i knew we would get there let me say so like i always say i know you guys out there you are sensible you are wise you are smart you are intelligent you are open minded and reasonable 
So whatever we say here, even if you don't agree, you will give a sensible comment. So we all have fun over here. Now, what I have to say is Papi Kojo really had a good case over here. But how he presented the case was the problem. Now, if you want to send a message to Mr. Logic, he was sitting there. So you should just go direct to Mr. Logic without going cornering. Just tell him, Mr. Logic, this is what you did and I want you to apologize. Now, there is one thing that he said that I don't agree with him. That if they don't apologize, then he will stand up and go. Now, you were calling on the owner of UTV, calling on people who hosted that show. Meanwhile, you know exactly that the person who was hosting the show is no more working there. And you know that the person who owns UTV does not sit in the show. So why are you calling them to come and apologize or else you will stand up and go on live TV at that time that you were there? Huh? Why should you do that? When you were coming to the show, you knew that these people do not sit in the show again. Like Mark Brown who hosted the show. And also, the owner of UTV does not sit in this kind of show. So, you should have decided that, okay, I'm not coming because these people wouldn't be there to apologize. You see what I'm talking about? So, if it's Mr. Logic you were talking about, then you should have gone directly. Talk to Mr. Logic. I want you to apologize because you said this to Fela Nuna and I wasn't happy about it. But if you include everybody who was among the show and who owns UTV, then, bro, you are doing things wrongly. That wasn't the best thing to do. I'll condemn you on that. Now, guys, there is another issue that we have to talk about. Now, Mr. Logic and Papi Kojo had an encounter because of Yvonne Nelson, Fela Nuna, and Sarkodie's issue. And Papi Kojo stood up and went out of the studio. I want us to watch that video and I have a whole lot to talk about that. What are you talking about? Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let me tell you what I'm okay. talking about. You're here trying to defend Yvonne. Yvonne is as a woman the same way Felunina is. So if you're going to defend Yvonne, it's either it's because Yvonne was sick or she's famous. The day I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me finish. Let me finish. If you're defending Yvonne, it's either Yvonne was sick, that's why he, or she's famous, or you they see Yvonne. That's why you defend Yvonne. But Yvonne is a woman like Felununa. So if Felununa comes here and you guys disrespect Felununa, I don't see why right now you're sitting here trying to defend Yvonne. Like, Papi, could that, that, no, no, let, let me respond Papi, to him. Let me just ask you. Let me just ask you. Let me just ask you. Let's close this case and go The time Feluna came here, you were not here. I saw it on TV. You watched from home. And I make a choice here. Feli better now, I say, no. Maybe I know because we now hear viewer from home. Two fish, maybe I were pushing her around. Did you see how it started? I saw what I saw, my guy. Because I saw what well, I saw. I'm coming. Fair, maybe I will, if you respect, Oni, it, sa, Mizzy, 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 let, let, let me yeah, yeah, let me respond. Let, let me respond to you. Know. He just he just mentioned me responding. If you respect Feluna enough to ask me to apologize to her, then you should respect Yvonne enough for you to apologize to her for the mockery you made of her. <laughs> yes, you are laughing. I'm telling you. Okay. Wait. So what happened to support Ghana music? What happened to support your brother? Support which brother? Sakodie. What, what has Sak done? How, how am I I'm coming. Right now, uh -huh. the music we do, it's not just raps. It comes with TikTok challenge. It comes with a whole lot. Maybe Sack doesn't do TikTok challenge, but we need to push the song. Papi Koja will do the TikTok challenge to support my brother. What about that? Okay. The now, let's talk about Mr. Logic. Yes, his name Logic, sometimes, honestly, he makes some submissions that isn't logical. But let's put that aside. Now, Papi Kojo was saying that if Mr. Logic disgraced and disrespected Fela Luna when they invited her on the show and said that her music is a joke, like she said, he said it in the local language saying, I grow in the so she is a joke. If you have said that and now you are defending Yvonne Nelson because Sarah Kwadia made a diss song for her, then you should also apologize to. Fela Luna and respect Fela Luna. If not, then you are being a hypocrite because Yvonne Nelson is famous or has money more than Fela Luna. For that, I don't know. That's what Papi is saying. He has a point over there. Because if you think Yvonne deserves 
respect from Sarkodie and also deserves respect from Papi Kojo, who made a trending dance, a challenge for that music Sarkodie played or Sarkodie composed, then you are being hypocrites. How can you disrespect Felonuna and respect Yvonne Nelson? Are they both not women? This is what Papi Kojo is saying. Now, Mr. Logic raised the point that, okay, if Papi Kojo is supporting Felonuna and think Fela deserves a respect, then Yvonne Nelson also deserves a respect from Papi and he must apologize to her. So Papi asks why. Now, Mr. Logic is saying that Papi did a trending dance or a challenge to that music. But my question is, what is disrespectful about the challenge Papi Kojo did? What did he say wrong in the challenge? Or what did he do wrong in the challenge? Because when every music is released, people find dancers and people on TikTok, content creators, to do a challenge for it just to promote the song. Is it that because that challenge promoted the song, that is why he's saying that it's disrespectful? Is he the one who composed the song? No, he only brought a dance challenge, which other people were doing, including me. I even did a dance challenge, my own dance challenge. So, Mr. Logic, what you are saying isn't logical. If you are respecting Yvonne Nelson, then you must respect Fela Luna too. You don't ask Papi Kojo to give respect to Yvonne Nelson when he hasn't said anything against Yvonne Nelson or done anything against Yvonne Nelson. It's only a dance challenge that he brought. So, let's be logical. I know your name is logical, but sometimes you are not logical at all. This is not an attack. This is not an insult or something, but I'm just telling you the truth. With this, you were swaying. Even though Papi Kojo was requesting something that is not too important, but he walking out of the studio is my main problem. You are talking about respect here, asking someone to show respect to Fela Luna and apologize. Meanwhile, you requesting respect, you have disrespected Miss G, who is hosting that show. You have disrespected the show that invited you to come so that they, they do some discussions with you just because of Mr. Logic. If you have a problem with Mr. Logic, the show isn't for Mr. Logic. The TV station isn't for Mr. Logic. Respect Miss G who invited you. Give her that respect. If only you want people to, people to respect Fela Luna too. This is all I can tell you. Anyways, on here, we always strive for glory, we strive for success, we strive for the truth, we strive for travels, and today we are striving for respect, like Papi Kojo is requesting. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so you become part of this strive family. Like the video, let it go viral, leave a comment, let us know your opinion without any insults. Your boy Melody, I'll see you in the next video. Caught rise. No more. If you know make money, friends go dog you. Nobody said they love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day you gonna make it. If you know make money, friends go dog you. Nobody said they love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love me now.